Welcome back to Project Weekend, your go to DIY project channel. Today, we've got an incredible experiment to unveil, one that will not only showcase the fascinating concept of centrifugal force, but also teach you how to control a DC motor with it. So, stay tuned till the end to grasp the theory behind this ingenious creation. Behold, our DIY marvel.
We've got a DC motor and a series of innovative parts expertly connected to its axis. The magic begins when the motor roars to life, and you won't believe what's about to happen. First, let's break down the science. Centrifugal force is the unseen power that pushes objects away from the center of rotation, just like you'd feel on a merry-go-round, hurling you outward as it spins. To demonstrate this incredible force, we've attached two bolts as centrifugal weights to our setup. When the motor starts, these weights are flung away from the axis due to the centrifugal force, setting our ingenious contraption into motion. On our main axis, we've got a moving part connected to the centrifugal weights. As these weights move outward, it pushes the moving part upwards linearly. And here's the real magic. This moving part is designed to control a switch. When the motor is at rest, the part is in the down position, making the switch connection, allowing electricity to flow, and powering up the motor. But the moment we start the motor, the incredible centrifugal force takes charge, pushing those weights outwards, causing the moving part to rise, disconnecting the switch. The motor stops, and the circuit opens. Now, here's the true marvel. When the motor stops, the centrifugal force gradually subsides, and our moving part gracefully descends, reconnecting the switch. This action restarts the motor, and the mesmerizing cycle begins anew. So, what's the theory behind all this? We're utilizing the unique properties of centrifugal force to control the motor. As the motor spins, the weights are pushed outward, causing the switch to disconnect and turn the motor off. When the motor stops, the weights return to their original position, reconnecting the switch and powering the motor back on. It's a continuous loop driven by the principles of centrifugal force. There you have it, a brilliant project that demonstrates the power of centrifugal force and how you can put it to use. Let's explore how centrifugal force is used in each of these items and provide some specific examples. Centrifugal water pumps are commonly employed in various applications where liquids need to be moved. They are used for irrigation systems, cooling systems in industrial machinery, and even in our homes for water supply. In an irrigation system, the centrifugal water pump draws water from a reservoir. As the impeller inside the pump rotates, it imparts kinetic energy to the water. Centrifugal force pushes the water outward, creating a low-pressure area in the center of the pump, which results in a continuous flow of water through pipes to irrigate fields. Vacuum cleaners are essential for household cleaning. They rely on centrifugal force to separate dirt and debris from the air as it's drawn in. When you turn on your vacuum cleaner, the motor generates a high-speed spinning motion. As the air and dirt enter the vacuum, the centrifugal force pushes the dirt particles outward, causing them to settle in the dustbin or filter. The clean air is then expelled back into your living space. Clothes dryers use centrifugal force to remove excess water from wet clothes. In a spinning dryer drum, the clothes are subjected to centrifugal force. This force pushes water molecules to the outer edges of the drum, allowing the water to be evaporated more efficiently, leaving your clothes dry. Cream separators are used in dairy farming and food processing to separate cream from milk. As the separator spins, the heavier cream is forced outward due to centrifugal force while lighter milk remains in the center. This separation process allows for the collection of pure cream. We've used PVC pipes, a heat gun, and tiles to create most of our components, so don't hesitate to experiment with this idea. If you enjoyed this video and found our centrifugal force experiment exciting, don't forget to hit that like button and subscribe for more mind-boggling DIY projects. Keep innovating, keep creating, and remember, the world of DIY is full of surprises. Until next time on Project Weekend.